Hi, yeah, welcome to another video. It's George here back again. I've not done one in a while, but I had to do one this week because it's the launch of Motorsport Manager. Yeah, Motorsport Manager is the PC follow-up to one of my favorite mobile games of all time. If you hadn't played the original Motorsport Manager on mobile, it basically let you take over a team and you got to build your HQ and then manage drivers in between races so you'd hire and fire different teams try and take them up the various rankings and things like that it was fantastic i can remember missing tube stops so when i heard that there was a pc version dropping i had to get involved so this is my second or third race in fact on this i've done absolutely awfully on my first two but i'm just going to take you through a single race just to show you what kind of things are going on in this game so you could go through a full career mode and basically have 15 16 races or whatever through the course of the season but just to speed things up for you i'm going to do a race around a single track just for the heck of it so what i'm going to do is just set that up so i'm going to go for the munich course uh you've got the track layout a or b a or b or c i'm going to go for track layout a Let's go for track layout A. And we're going to go for a short race just to get things moving. So once you've done that, you can then choose your series. So you can go for shorter or lower quality racing, or you can go for the top one, which is World Motorsport. And if you do that, then that's well speedy in it. So when you're choosing your team in the game, you can do all sorts of other things with it. But in this particular mode, you have to pick from one of a number of different teams. Now, as you can see, it is pretty slow in terms of how it's looking graphically and how everything is moving that is nothing to do with the game that is to do with the fact that i'm playing this on my absolutely naff macbook air but i'm going to go for a team that i've been in all of my races so far scuderio rossini who are very much ferrari they're just ferrari let's just admit that so they are ferrari we're gonna go and we're gonna see how everything it's going to do in this race so before you start the race i mean this is motorsport manager so this is basically the equivalent of football manager for f1 nuts so what would you expect if you were going to set up well first of all you'd expect beautiful magic lines like that oh look at that gorgeous um but no seriously what you'd expect is the opportunity to set up your car choose how your drivers are going to behave in the race and just basically give them a bit of a kick start so that is pretty much what you can do with just waiting for everything to load up and it's nearly there it is a really good looking game actually i think it, it does look really really pretty and if you compare it to something like football manager which is getting prettier but it's still not great whereas this okay it's running slowly but that's not anything to do with the game that is simply to do with the fact that my laptop is absolutely rubbish for playing games and that if i'm going to do more pc stuff like this i'm very much going to have to get a better laptop but anyway so what you can do is you can look here and you've got all sorts of little knowledge here which tells you about people so for example both of these drivers perform better on mediums than they normally would do um, and he's better at nursing the car and he's better at racing so you can do those things and then you can i think you can select yes you can make all of these perks active um, so anyway so that's the knowledge what you then get to is the car setup so what you want to do is you look at this and this shows them how they performed in the last session the last session that they were in was it would have been basically a practice session but if you look at this downforce is a little bit out of the favored area so you want to basically jiggery oop, this one that way to get the downforce better because he's happy with the speed balance so you want to kind of do that i think because i think that's pretty much matching up with where they are so happy but you could alternatively use a different setup depending upon how things are going to go and so there's 20 laps the softs last about eight to ten laps depending on how you nurse them um softs these are the super softs in fact so you've got the mediums though now both of these drivers are good on mediums so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to set him up onto mediums actually because he's going to be pretty darn good at that and then i'm going to have a quick look at nilo saradin i'm going to change his setup Okay, so he's relatively unhappy with the downforce and speed balance. So we're gonna 
no, that's the wrong way. So if we basically shift that a little bit that way, and then that a little bit further, that's going to get the downforce better. And then we just want to be looking at a way of increasing. So if you stiffen the suspension, then the handling's going way out. But I'm going to try. Oh, oh. So I've got the speed balance in, but now I'm going to see if I can, wrong way, bring that handling back a little bit. So there we go. I'm going to, I'm pretty happy with that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up on, I don't like having both of my drivers on the same tire just in case. So I'm going to hit him on a super soft because he's in fifth. And so because he's further in front, I think he's in fourth, it means that the driver strategy can be different. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to push him. I'm going to keep on a relatively neutral strategy for him. Hmm. I'm going to keep on a relatively neutral driving style, but I'm going to go for overtake at the start. And I'm going to go for overtake at the start as well. And I'm going to hit I'm going to just leave that like that. Okay, time to start the race. But I forgot to check the weather forecast. Oh no, because the weather can change during the races. And if the weather changes, you've got to be able to react to those changes as they happen. But, oh, well, here we go. Here's the starting grid. Oh, in fact, Wexler's out in second. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh-oh, I wasn't paying attention. He's in a bit of a trickier position. But okay, the weather's fine. And it's lights out. Go, go, go. Everyone's off. Wexler's off to a good start. Saarinen has had an absolute mare. That is not great. But he's out in front, so I'm going to get him instantly to switch down to high. Yes, there we go. Well, Wexler's gotten off to a great start, but you can switch between the drivers really quickly. So Saarinen is down to ninth. That is a really poor start considering the tyre that he's on. Mm, not great. And he's not taking any orders from me because he's based on Kimi Raikkonen, so he hates me. Um, so I'm going to have to get him to attack now. Because he's not really gotten off to a great start, which isn't good news. Whereas Wexler... He's off to a he's off to a pretty decent start, and so this is a lot like um, how Motorsport Manager played on mobile, except for the fact that they obviously it didn't look as good. You know, like this looks great in comparison. This is a really good looking game, um, considering what it is, considering it's a simulation game. Um, but anyway, so Wexler's in a good position at the moment. We've got 20 laps of this, so you're going to be in for a long race here. Um, but I'm going to be in for an even longer one with Saarinen in this current state because he's one of the higher wearing drivers. But anyway, so the idea is my strategy for this is basically to keep those two drivers going for a while. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to just bring those down because as you can see his fuel's going down but anyway my strategy for this is basically Wexler is going to going to keep him going uh, because I'm hoping that by having him in a relatively good position you can see that other drivers are on better tyres in terms of pace but his tyres should hold out for much much longer so provided that he can hold this even though he's under attack at the moment from those two behind him Chapman and Lippinen they're pretty pretty close um, whereas let's go and have a quick look at what Saarinen's doing because Saarinen is having an absolute mare at the moment but I'm leaving him right there because we need to conserve a little bit of fuel because the otherwise the super softs ain't going to be good. But he's just going backwards. Oh dear. Something not right with that setup. Which isn't good. He's not enjoying those super softs at all, is he? Um, but at the moment, Wex is okay. He's getting his push on, which is good. Because part of what I'm trying to do here is 
try and stretch those people on super soft out towards me because I've got a bit more room to do what I want to do but hmm, it's a tricky one anyway so the idea is oh look you get little messages by the way so Sauron is happy to have driven past someone because well he's been rubbish so far so he's, he's pretty delighted with that which is fair enough but um, Wexler's in a good position at the moment so I'm pretty happy with him what's going to be coming up soon so we're about three laps in you can start seeing that people like Surikov here and even Flores what is Flores doing with his tyres honestly a complete mare there um, but a lot of these drivers are in positions where they're going to be like okay we're going to have to stop thinking about coming into the pits and so the plan for me is to basically get Walker Walker? Wexler I don't know why I keep no, I just called him Walker there I think I just briefly just saw the X and the L and just screwed it all up but anyway the idea is to get Wexler in a really good position for this race because he's in a he's in a great position actually um, whereas Saarinen is just not doing much too is he but the idea now for Saarinen is I'm going to hold him in this position because he's good on the mediums as well which means if I can keep him if I can keep him out for maybe sort of five six see now because now I'm trying I'm looking at this and it's like ah this is a nightmare really you're not taking any team orders from me which is problematic because he's not in the greatest positions um but Dito Wexler he's out in front at the moment and his tyre wear is good if we're looking at anyone who's got comparable tyre wear it's probably the graph who's back there but 10 seconds they're 10 seconds are off us and their strategy they're having to conserve a bit which I mean I guess that's one of the things I do need to look out for is watching for a bit of petrol based issues um, but I'm relatively pleased with how this has started I think I'm going to try and get Siren to, to go for a little push because I think there's a chance that they can probably get some the place back if he listens he might not listen he's, he's his own man I respect that. But Wexler in the lead. 16 laps left to go. So that is. So we're now a quarter of the way into the race. As you saw, you could have races that were like 40 or 60 laps long, which means that this is a really hardcore game for most sport fans. And I mean, I really enjoy it. I think it's fascinating. I think it's a really well designed management game. I think it's compelling. Um, what I've played of it so far I need to go through the campaign mode but I think the race themselves if you're a motoring nut this is like basically everything that you could hope for um, but so what I think I'm going to do I'm not going to look at these laps I'm going to knock him back down to the medium I'm going to let him try and burn those tyres out slightly Look at people around him. Let's have a look. See, that's the one popped out there too far. So, I mean, he's going to have to look in soon enough. I'm going to push and go high. I'm going to try that. See if he listens to what I'm doing. But let's go back to Wexler for a moment. So Wexler's in a position now where I'm going to try and conserve a little bit of fuel for now. How many laps have we got left? 16. So I'm going to I'm going to hold on that actually. But at the moment, so the plan for Wexler is pretty simple, as you can probably see. De Graaf looks like the biggest threat, even though De Graaf is 10 seconds back, because De Graaf has a similar tyre and a similar level of degradation, so they're going to be looking, probably, to try and close them down, but they're at the moment in a conserve, and they're actually burning fuel, so I might try and conserve slightly myself. 
Let's go and have a look at Saruman, because Saruman's in a tricky position. Because what you can do is you can consider pitting. And if you hit pit, oh, the drama music kicks in. And then you've got to look at these. So mediums could stretch out to 14. But to stretch them to 14 laps means I'm going to have to... If I stretch those out to 14 laps, I'm going to have to be really, really solid on that to get there. So... Yeah, you know what, I'm going to hold. But it does thoughtfully pause the game for you there while you're considering that. It's a bit like in terms of if you jump into the tactic screen instead of in Football Manager where it carries on and you can have problems. It's... I'm going to have to, yeah, whereas in Football Manager, if you have a problem, you've got to do it on the fly while the match is going on. With this, you've got that actual time to consider what you're doing, really, and go, maybe I will change it. That could be something that I might change in future editions, depending upon how realistic people think it is. But I think Wexler's in a good place here, because once I start seeing one of these drivers pitting, Chapman, Surikov, Holt to Oliveira. I think I'm going to go for a bit of a push because actually Wexler's tyres are in a good place. And there's still plenty of fuel. Whereas Saren and I'm going to have to look a little bit more. I think I'm going to see if I can get one more lap for Saren and And then... 30%. Mm. You know, actually, I'm gonna one more lap for Sorenin. No, I'm pitting. I've got a pit. I've got a pit. Right, medium. Estimated pit stop time. Good. Anything in the balance? Uh, there's not much I can. I'm gonna change there. But I'm gonna. You can see that you can do here is there's a riskiness. The riskier that this is then the more there could be something that goes wrong so I'm going to go for a fast stop and what I'm going to do in the meantime is going to get him to attack while going into the pit because if Neil Saarinen goes into the pit on the attack it's going to be the case that hopefully they'll have a bit more pace you see Walker is good on the medium so I'm going to keep Walker Wexler his name's Wexler Gosh darn it, I've done this a couple of times. Anyway, Wexler's good on the medium, so Sarinen actually, but we're going to have to just be a little bit careful. I'm going to watch this pit stop now, so. Okay. It's docking, docking. Oh no! There's been a mistake! Oh no, I took a risk. That's a horrible, horrible stop. I'm going to get a radio message about that. He's not going to be happy. Got out in front of the 19th place driver. But I'm going to get a radio message about that, I'm pretty sure, soon. Because they're not going to be chuffed at all, are they? But anyway, so my plan for Wexler is I've got 46%. I've got to try and conserve those tyres a little bit longer. But I might go... I think I'm going to go double mediums for Wexler. Because I think that might actually benefit the race. Because at this point, Holtz, Chapman, they're starting to pit. So I'm going to go for neutral. I'm going to go for high for a bit. So willing to wear the tyres down slightly but then also to push a little bit more in terms of the pace because their tyres are starting to fall off a cliff which means they're going to be struggling a bit which is good but so Saarinen you can see on the top of the mini map is way back but got a bit of a space uh, so I'm going to get him to push no, I'm going to keep the tyre wear okay, I'm going to keep conserving but I'm going to put the engine up a mode just to try and increase that fuel burn slightly. 
So Wexler should be able to hold this here. I'm pretty confident that Wexler's got this in the bag at the moment. But it comes down to how well I deal with this. Like, is it going to be a sensible decision to get Wexler in and switch to super softs? Because when Solomon did, Solomon has just been going backwards as a result of that. Um, I mean, there's still some people to come into the pits, but I don't think Solomon is going to make up much ground, cause, particularly because of that problem. But look, second and third are in, so... I'm going to go for the high engine mode. I'm going to push for a lap. Just try and get Wexler further out in front, ahead of the next stop, because we've got a bit of a cushion now, which is good. But now the, the question's going to be, what kind of cushion have I got? So the current standings, okay, so this is the one problem I'm having with Mac, so if I go too far up, it does pull them down. But looking at the current gap back to Chapman, there's a 21 second gap. So I'm going to try, what I'm going to try and do is ride out one more lap. And then I'm going to try and bring I'm going to have to pull Saren and down for a second. So what I'm going to do, Wexler's got that good position. Got a decent advantage. Tyres are still okay, probably for another lap. I think because of how good he's been on the mediums, I'm going to put him back out on mediums. But what I'm going to do is just go for one more push. Because I think second and third are going to have to come in. No, uh, second's not come in. Third hasn't come in either. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pit. I'm going to go around the front foot here. And then... He's got 5% performance increase on that. But then he's definitely going to be pacier on those. I'm going to go for the softs because he should be able to ride out the race on those. That should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to go for the balanced because I think that's the best option for now. But so just for this second, I'm going to just attack and then push. And then what I'm going to do is once it comes out the other side, I'm going to try and conserve a little bit more. But hopefully, because I'm expecting second and third really can't hold out much longer. De Graaf was the person who I'm going to be concerned about. But if I can get out in front of them, I should be in a good position for the end of this race. And then Saarinen. I have no idea what's going on with Saarinen because I'm too dived up in what Wex is doing. But Saarinen's doing okay back there. Just need to have a quick look at that. I'm going to basically just keep conserving for a while, probably for another couple of laps because there's not much point. I'm now going to go and watch Wex the pit because I think Oliveira has to come in because that is just, look at those softs, they've completely gone. I mean, done really well to push them this far, but that must be hitting their times. So he's in the pit lane, he's going for the pit stop. Yeah, second number two's got to be going in. Yes, number two's in, so that's it. Oh, no. Just out in third. That's a bit unfortunate. Thought I had that there. That's okay. I'm going to just move down to medium for now. Because I don't have a particular need to push. Well, Chapman, I'm going to have to push up behind Chapman, but I've not got quite enough fuel for that at the moment, so I'm going to try and save for a little bit and rely on the fact that my tyres are slightly better and slightly quicker to give me that little bit of edge. But anyway, Sarilin, this jumps. He's overtaken three drivers. Good work. Oh, yeah, it's pit. It is the pits. But um, he's doing okay. I'm going to come back to him in a few laps. But yeah, you can see, I'm getting pretty tense about this now, actually. Um, and 
it is starting to get pretty hotly contested. So I think the driver's in second and the driver in fourth are basically the Mercedes. That's, I think, who they are. Um, so, you know, or Mercedes equivalent, anyway. But so the graph has got to go in. It's got to go in this lap, surely. There's really not much more point. Yes, there we go. Right, back in second. And then let's have a quick look at our pace. Because that's going to be... Yeah, I'm going to have to look at that one because my Wexler, my last lap is way off. My Chapman's last lap is. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to ignore your brake problems. Ooh, there's a problem there up front, though. So I'm going to go and try and take advantage of that by attacking. We've got 8.4 laps of fuel left and we've got 8.23 down here which means I can probably switch out of conserve back into the neutral and 69% I think that's pretty good and Chapman looks like, like he's in a bit of trouble which is good news for me because I've got 7.68 laps worth of fuel 7.65 laps you know it's, it's tumbling downwards but I've only got six laps left of the race and so if that's a problem which I think it is so Wexler's got this, the pace back I've just got to make sure that I don't push too fast because I think overtake might burn the fuel out so I'm gonna if he's got a problem I'm gonna surely get them and if I don't get them then it's going to be if I don't get them then what's going to be happening is I'll be having a little cry actually that's what's going to be happening um, but seriously though I think I'm in a pretty good position here with Wexler I think it's just going to be a case of just continuing to chase down now it's just a question of what do I do with Saren Saradin has got slightly better tyre wear than Vasquez. So that means probably pushes are okay. But now it's just a question of what is that weather doing? That weather's okay, looks alright to me. Um, there's 7.23 laps left, so there's definitely an opportunity to start burning a bit more fuel. We've got 6.51 laps left. So I'm going to just keep on this relatively tight strategy for Wexler because... Oh, he's pitting. He's pitting. Okay, excellent news. Right. Conserve. I'm going to conserve a little bit there. I'm going to actually go a little bit lower because... Third, I've got a little bit of distance to third, and I've got a faster tyre. But the tyre is a little more vulnerable, so I'm going to just do that because I know that Chapman is going to drop back, which is good news because it is good news. Um, but I'm going to shift back to neutral there for Simon because his tire wear is pretty ridiculous and I think if I wear too much more out I'm going to have to go for a second stop which I think will pretty much scupper my chances of winning of keeping a relatively healthy position for him so in fact I'm going to move back to conserve uh, but I am going to move the engine speed up so there's a bit more pace there because I can afford that so Wexler I'm going to keep on that approach but I will watch because number two, who's in second, halts, could get us back, especially if we're not careful. So, what am I going to do? I mean, so these laps, so how many time, time do I have these for? Coming up for? They're meant to last for 10 to 12, I think. 
so if I keep conserving, you know, I'm going to be able to go for neutral, I reckon. And then, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I've got 5.7, so actually I'm going to hit back up to medium consumption, because I can. In fact, I can probably put that into the higher engine mode, but I just want to make sure. You know what, I'm going to save that a little bit longer, because I think if I can save it... Hmm, actually, it's been pulled in. I'm going to go to a higher engine mode. Let's try that. Now, Saurinen is doing well in terms of his speed, but I don't think he's getting very far, to be totally honest. Um, I mean, Vasquez he probably would get, but North is pretty unlikely. Um, however, Wexler, provided that everything stays okay, I mean, there's the problem with the brakes. Oh, no. Ignore. I'm going to ignore it because I'm going to try. I'm going to try and see this out, which could be tricky. Oh no. And see, this is it. This is the drama of Motorsport Manager. Is what happens if you get a brakes problem like this? Should I pit? Should I go? Should I do this? I really don't actually know here. I'm going to try and hold out because I think I can win this race if I can hold. But I think it's one of those I'm not likely. Let's just see what's going to happen. 3.92. So I'm going to push that back down to a medium. And then he's got 4.29. So we can probably go to an overtake. I mean, the only things that could happen here is if there's something that's complementary, which is if, say, for example, some rain does come in, which I don't think it will. Yeah, I think it's going to be... I think this is just a case of holding on now. That's it. We're just going to have to hold on and see what happens. Um... Rumba. I'm going to go to Saarinen. Saarinen, who uh, just had a really disappointing start to the race. Just lost a lot of positions and hasn't really pulled it back. But he's on good pace at the moment. Um, principally because so he's got three laps left now. So I'm going to have a couple of gentler laps just to... no particular strength on his pace there is there there's only two and a bit laps left to go so I can't really I'm now just trying to allow Wexler to nurse this one back home because I think he's going to be okay I think he's going to hold out and win provided he gets the car home so it's lap 18 so what I'm going to do I'm going to just balance that out by basically saying try and conserve the tyres a bit but maybe push the engine a little bit higher and we'll see what happens. Oof, this is tense. This is tense. Oh, I'm getting pretty tense at the moment. This is... I just don't know how this is going to play out. Is he going to hold on? I'm not too sure. I'm really not sure about this. Oh, I mean, Saarinen is going to limp back. I don't think there's too much to worry about in terms of Saarinen. There's also a problem with second place though. There's quite a few problems today. A few technical issues. That's that's interesting. I don't know what that means. I'll try and watch to see if Holtz is planning on pitting. Because if Holtz is planning on pitting, there might be enough time to sneak a fix of Wexler's car. Oh, I don't think they are pitting. That's a shame. But we've got enough fuel to see us home which is good because if, if you don't have enough fuel you will just run out of fuel and that is a bit embarrassing um, track grip's okay everything's doing alright I'm feeling pretty confident about this we've just got one more lap to get through oh. 
just one more lap to hold on. Wexler looks... Wexler might have this. Wexler might well have this. I'm going to push up slightly higher. Because they can. But Wexler, come on. This is, this is yours to win now. This is yours to win. Let's see if you can hold out. Come on. I've never won a race in this. This is... This is so tense. This is like, come on, we can do this. We can win this. But I think, I'm hoping anyway, that Holtz's problem means that they are also trying to just nurse themselves back home. But we can't, we're so close to victory here. Oh, this is tense. But we can get this. We can surely get this. Like, oh, this is really agonisingly tense. But we're nearly there. Oh, we just got a couple more corners. We've got this one. Oh. And then... Maria Gonzalez locked up. Just don't you dare lock up in this final corner. Don't you dare. Rick de Grasse ran out of fuel. But Wexler... Wexler comes home. And he takes the checkered flag. There we go. What a boy. What a winner. There we go. Oh, that's fantastic. And then let's go back and see Saren and let's see if he can push past. Let's just try, try and finish this one up. Can he get past? I'm going to get one last thing. Just switch to an overtake. I'm going to just attack. I see that drivers run out of fuel. They genuinely do. It's not great. It's not very smart of them, really, to run out of fuel. But there we go. Oh my goodness me. And that... Yeah, let's just forget about this race and move on. That's exactly what I'm, I'm thinking about as well. But I'm not going to say that that's the case for Wexler. He's brought home the bacon. Look at that. What a stunning win. And uh, I mean, it was tense for a bit. I thought that he was going to scupper it because of his engine problems. Oh, sorry, his engine problems, his braking problems. I thought he was going to lose out. But he managed to hold on. He managed to see it out, which is fantastic. And I think he's going to come pull into the pit lane. And there we go. That is a job well done for Mr. Wexler. He's won himself the Munich Grand Prix. And look, I've just unlocked myself some achievements. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. And there's the post-race stat. Now I don't actually know what I do next. Oh, it fades out. There we go. The World Motorsport Championship. And we're going to have a look at the final standings. And this is where the stats nerd in me, I think, gets pretty excited from what I can remember. Like, you can basically see where... You can see how long the tyre history goes for. You can see... Go away. You can see live timings. So that's how fast... So that's... Oh, look at that. It's commentator's feed. There's the standings, of course. Position tracker. This is the one I like. So you can see where they go up and down. So he briefly, Dieter Wexler, briefly drops down. But you can also see that Saarinen. Oh, dear, Saarinen. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's go back and look at that start. So you can see that he jumps into the lead, gets a good start. And after that, it's just a case of defending it. But... Oh, Saarinen, that was a terrible start and he never really recovered from it. And on that note, anyway, success to Dieter Wexler and success, I think, to Motorsport Manager. I think it's a cracking game. I think it's a fantastic little simulation. I think it's uh, it's got everything to be a really great sports game. Like Maybe it needs a little bit more polishing in terms of giving you actual license names and things like that. But as it's the first time that's come out on PC... I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt here because I think it's a fantastic little management game. I think if you're a fan of something like Football Manager and you want a motorsport equivalent, this is right up your street. Or if you're just a fan of, of strategy and just enjoy it, this is really accessible. And it's managed to keep the spirit of the mobile games while also evolving up to becoming a £25 PC game. So my top tip, 
I'd go out and get a copy of this if you're into anything strategic. But if you're not, just, just keep your eyes out because I'm sure I would do more races like this in the future. Anyway, if you want to catch up with me, make sure you can follow me on Twitter at George Osborne. Make sure you sign up to the channel, whatever you do. Uh, subscribe, that's the word. And until next time, I'll see you around. <laughs>